Hey, sir. Yeah. I was just calling to let you know I uh, made it in town here. And you told me I'd exit the interstate and go down this long road. I didn't think that's what you were going to say. All right, sir. Yep, I'll, uh, I'll meet up with him. Make sure he's with me on the way back. All right. You too, sir. Bye. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a cold Montana day. So, don't want to go too, too fast here. Uh, but, we are here. Welcome to Welcher's Farm, where we will be dropping these three off. Can't go too fast. It's not exactly a real road. Trucks are doing good. Pickup truck shifted a little bit. already have civilians probably out for their morning hunt I don't know what to say but we are here Suppose we just go down this road take a right we'll be there oh man I don't know what it is about this thing but it's jumpy huh so We'll just sit back here and look at that Chevy grill while I drive. It's supposed to be a main road. This doesn't look like no main road. Let's just keep on driving. Um, so what you think about our little mini episode? We'll probably have another one. Um, in a day. Skip a day. Mini episode. And then we'll be back at the farm. So... making sure my microphone is in so let's not go in a ditch here yeah so we should be uh, back at the farm I don't know what's going on back there um, that was the mayor he just gave me a call this thing must have a GPS on it it dinged let him know I was near my exit he called and said, yeah, you know you got to take that exit. And I was like, I know, sir, I got to take that exit. All right, I was starting to think I was the only one that lived here. I mean, I don't live here, but visit. Looks like we got us a little farm here. Trees are kind of dying. I don't think that's my road I got to take. Truck's kind of wavy, huh? That old pickup truck bar. Alright, I didn't know if I was going to clear that or not. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 24. The mini episode will count as day 23. This will count as day oh, with this whole... Day 24. Next mini episode will be day 25. Boy, it wouldn't be for these airbag seats. I'd be in a bind. Um, and we'll get back on day 26. I had to hit the brakes hard right there. That's a big dip right here. Being a single axle in the rear, really handling this bump's pretty good. Um, they said as soon as I get to the main highway, take a right. Jeez, if I don't lose my load right here. Taking a right. So yeah. 
pretty cool to see a train wreck and a lot of equipment emergency equipment back there in Kentucky and uh, yeah FS 17 is soon to be coming to an end for many players uh, the start of 2019 FS 19 comes out in a mere five days for you pre-orders and for anybody else it's just another day um, Carter Gale from Louisiana should be getting his pre-order in the mail come the 17th uh, next drawing is two weeks from the release date so y'all stay tuned for that um, pretty excited I think four people so far are drawn up to get it so supposed to be meeting somebody in a parking lot Supposedly he's already there. And we'll be meeting another driver. So, let's go in here and see what's going on. Alright, so let's pull in and see what we got. Oh no, the trailer brakes have locked up. That doesn't sound good above me. I think it just hit my roof. Oh man, whew. Alright, let me check. All right, so everything was okay. I just had to tighten down the strap. But we are getting it done here. So let's get it done. All right, so boss man said. Sorry, but I had to drink a little bit of my was hot coffee. But uh, after we took the exit off the interstate. So... Let me just creep on in here and figure out what we got to do. Um, I definitely don't want to go to the wrong place. I feel like I can see somebody up ahead. Let's check it out. So look at this IA scrapyard. I mean, it's really nice. Got plenty of things to scrap over here look at that they got two forklifts the cop car sitting on top that's crazy all right let's pull in here all right well that's my tipper look at these vehicles right here oh look that must be my dude I got to talk to so we got a Dodge or Ford Look at one of them box cars again, like in Kentucky. Bunch of nice equipment. Don't. All right, I didn't hit it. Let's get down and uh, talk to Chris. See what's going on over here. I believe that's the guy's name. I have to talk to. Oh, almost lost the whoop. Watch that load right there. All right. She's rocking. She's heavy. That truck up on there shouldn't have been up there, but that's what took us so long to get here. Let's go talk to Chris. Good morning, America's former big daddy. My name is Chris. You have to unload your three vehicles, and you have four vehicles to unload. You also have two gentlemen waiting outside of the gates with the remaining load from your order. Please hurry, as I do have other customers that will be pulling in shortly to complete their orders. Thank you for coming to Montana. All right, so we heard Chris. We have a lot going on. Obviously, the city didn't give me all the details let's unload these things as fast as we can right I mean these things barely roll for these things being on the bucket though they sure still get up if I needed to so tell me to park it wherever I want I guess this looks like a pretty good spot I don't know who almost hit the damage right there Let's go, because we know this is going to be a long process. This thing is still wobbling, so let's get this thing lowered here and unloaded. 
That's what I like to see. Coming down nice and slow, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. All right, so that should be pretty close to getting down to the bottom. I still hear the hydraulics pushing, but let's go see. If we can at least unload them and then come back and touch them after. That's all we're really after here. So hopefully that middle one started. It kind of gave us trouble, if you remember, when we were in Woodshire. So let's see. All right, so it started. You know what? Let's just back it on all the way up. Ooh, that was fasty, Bob. Okay. Wonder where Chris went. I didn't see him right here by the hood. That dude is everywhere, huh? Now it's time for the heavy Chevy. Where are things leaning? Must have broke that axle once we got it. Just putting it to the floor, trying to get it off. All right. That's all I needed was to get stuck before we unloaded it. Let's just park it right here next to these two trucks. It runs and drives so he can move it where he wants. Leaving the keys inside. Ah, now comes the good part. I could break these all day. It's trying not to scratch the next ones we have to load up. Let's go talk to Chris, make sure that's them. Look what we got right here, a Ford. Cool, look how they got that Nova up there, a Beetle, two forklifts. I don't know what that is. That's a Dodge with a mesh grill. A nice Ford. I might try to see what I can do to buy that. Hey, Chris, what you got going on right here? Is that them or what? That's a Ford, man. You can keep the hood up all day. It's fixed or repaired daily. You'll be doing that again tomorrow. Are those them over there? I'll take your strong silence as a yes. All right, buddy. Good luck with that Ford. I know I'm picking up four more, but... It's not my taxpayers going to waste. See you later, buddy. All right, so let's get these Fords here loaded up. As you can tell, the guys must have already loaded it before we got here. So let's take it a little slow. I don't want to go spin some tires, get some rock chips. This is, uh, you know... The color is black, noir, negro, for everybody that's learning uh, French and Spanish out there. There you go. But I will keep it to English as this is America's former Big Daddy series. So go ahead and check out all these whips. I need to slow it down nice and slow. I guess they're all going to forfeit. I didn't order them. They ordered them. They had the trailer. But we saw how that worked out. Oh, ho, 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 ho. thank God for the push bumper. Oh, something is wrong with the trailer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go check on that and be right back. Come on. Did it work? You know, I, like I said, whenever I was unloading, I still heard the hydraulics working. But... I didn't know if it was there it is look at how easy it went up all right and the trucks tall enough to go over the top rail I'm worried about the there we go I was worried about the push bar but it looks like it went right over that top bar so let's go with our next one here crank up start up let's go Oof. thought I had to push it already let's go watch this thing this thing's gonna roll huh just I don't understand why would we as I take this corner nice and whoo, it started to slide that's what I'm talking about gotta break it in before the cops do right so why would the city buy five trucks it was five trucks because I'm loading four I got a truck and a trailer outside then I have another transport company following in with something else man I almost hit that truck too but they're going to drive the new canine unit with the mobile command trailer all the way back. 
So that's going to be about, I don't know, 600 miles on a brand new truck. But they've been having the white canine unit now that they've had for a year. So it's probably got some miles on it, you know. So I wouldn't panic too much. Sorry, the radio in this pickup truck was on. Ah, there's two. Let me get this thing up so we can get some more stuff loaded. Coming up nice and slow right here. Nice though, nice. Can't go wrong with it. And those trucks look good up there. Trailer's not wagging and swaying like it was with that Chevy up there. Must be that aluminum body. Alright, so we have a black one and it looks like we have one more white one. That's crazy. So, this one is solid black. The very first one we put didn't even have a light bar on the top. Just an antenna. So, it must be their undercover unit. Um, I saw the manifesto when I got here. It was definitely a lot of stuff. Um, so... Woodshire, Virginia, not that far from the downtown area. So, they're going to also be starting a mobile FBI center inside the police force. So, let's go ahead and load these things up. I know in two days they can't have built the building. So, I don't know where they're going to put all these things. It's a lot of equipment for a place that's not ready. They should have probably started that construction sometime in summer which would have been kind of smart but it does rain a lot interior isn't the cleanest but there we go getting another one in let's go all the way up kinda wish you'd be able to drive yeah I'm a little bit off the grading here let me center it you don't think it's centered? I think it's pretty centered now alright yeah see I wish that little thing would let you bump just a little bit more all right, let's go talk to Chris and see what he says. Hey, buddy, what about that white one? I told you you had four vehicles to load. There are four pickup trucks for you to load onto your wagon. Please do not interrupt me while I'm working. Well, thanks. I'm going to just look at your rig for a second here. Since I so bothered you, sorry, Mr. Chris. I know your job's important. I just don't want to load up another customer's truck. Jeez. Anyway, it's getting old whitey here. I guess it's to match the other truck. I don't know. Um, it's not our place. We just want to make sure we get it all loaded. So, let's get after it. Interior is clean. Got to make sure they don't leave no junk. You never know. Can you trust somebody at a yard? I guess you could. Nah. Before I became a farmer, I was a tow truck, a body man, a offshore hand. True, it took me a while to get on the farm here. So, that's why I'm here on the farm with you guys. Let's see if we can fishtail this white speck on bird manure. Let's go, let's get it. There we go, a little gas. Let's go, a little more. You got it. Some warning system just came on. Told me to buckle my seatbelt. Get out of here. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm trying to have a barbecue. <laughs> I think I'm catching bronchitis in Montana. What y'all think about this episode so far? I mean, we're going back home. We got some corn. Got some beans. We got... The town going crazy with all this construction and money. I don't know how much that's going to cost me this year in taxes, you know. Um, day 24, I made one year, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. But we have been at Woodshire for a whole year. So, pretty excited about that. You know, and then when we get back to the house, it's going to be, you know, day 26, I think we had talked about. Day 20. Yeah, day 26. So, let's go. Let's get out of here right now. 
Look at that. That truck's lined up, ready to go. I'm about to get down and go talk to him. Make sure we are good to go. I don't know why it's so slow, but we going to get it. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road. All right. So just struck a pose there. If you notice the title page for the video is ready to go. All right. So I'm turn off the lights here. It looks like it's becoming a little daylight outside. You can see a little bit. Got our four. The other truck's got its four and the truck and trailer are behind us. Let's try to stay on the road here as we finish out this great episode here on Welcher Farm in beautiful Montana. Thank you, Welcher Farm, for... I might even be pronouncing that wrong, but it's okay. I'm from the dirty south. We really got our own English, and we don't speak it in English. So, um, yeah, map looks great. I mean, a lot of details here on the map. The terrain, you know, I'm pretty sure if this would be a rainy season, that waterway would be flooded on those path roads. So let's check out our load here before we go real slow on the load. Uh, truck's hauling good. Hopefully the other truck. I don't know if that other truck pulling the trailer is going to be able to make the uh, 400 miles to Kentucky. Um, if possible, then maybe. You know, I don't know. Looks like he's having a little trouble there. The gravels are a little wet. Maybe he's cutting up. I don't know. Maybe he's in the department. Maybe he's new. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and Charlie Mike on this operation here for Operation Show of Force Woodshire. So, as you see, cruising. Not doing more than about 20 miles an hour. Don't really want to lose a load. Or the guy behind us is already having enough trouble. So comment below. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you enjoying this. I can't wait to start planting and getting back in the tractors. This is not a trucking simulator by any chance. So you know, I just needed a mission and a job to do for the winter because. I wasn't going to start cutting down trees when there's trees to be done. Also, there were some trees removed while we were going. Uh, that back line where the tractors have been having trouble catching the tree line. And they also put in a work order to remove the trees behind the car lot, the tractor dealership. That way our tractors don't hit it, not even being nowhere near the fence. So, here in Montana, America's former Big Daddy, thank you all for watching. Follow the rest of the series to FS19, and I will see you back in Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.